Hey guys, it's Amy here from Paper Crane Wishes, and today I'm going to show you how I made this color pour canvas. It's so amazing, and I used the color pour brand made by American Crafts. And watch, I'll show you how I made this step by step. All right, let's get into it. So to start out with, I got my white canvas here and I also put these thumbtacks in the back so it goes up a little bit so that when the paint falls, it's not going to go all over the table. It'll drip under because I want that edge. Here I have the pre-mixed Color Pour brand. Um, these are pre-mixed so I don't have to worry about making that consistency with how they have the base of the paint usually. I've also seen that Color Pour also sells a color medium. So I think you can also make your own custom colors when you buy the Pour medium. What I'm doing here is I'm separating out the different colors and I'm putting them into little cups. I got these little cups at the Dollar Tree. They're little shot glasses, but I find that they're perfect for resin projects, things like this, anything that can make anything just a little bit easier. And what I really had fun on doing with this project is I used all color pour products from American Crafts. So right here I'm putting in cell magic and that creates this sort of texture with silicone that you'll use on your painting when you pour it. Um, I had to have popsicles and you know stir them so that you can make make it kind of do that. And once I pour it, you can see what these magic cells sort of are that they're talking about. Um, and so I used, like I said, the color pour uh, cell magic. As you can see, there's a paint backdrop. Actually, I have a plastic sheet there. I even bought the color pour plastic sheet. I really love how they make this so easy. Like I am not a painter. And so for me to be able to do something was, was really exciting. So here I'm putting it in and I'm, you know, making sure that it's uh, completely swirled with the different colors. Um, and then to start, uh, I saw that it's good to have a primer base. So I just used the lightest one. And one reason that it's good to have a base is that I, I get the feeling that it's easier for the paint to slip and slide all across the canvas if you have a layer of paint. So I just found the lightest layer, um, the lightest shade of the paint that we were using um, and I put some on and I just brushed it on. Like I said, it's just going to leave a nice layer of uh, slippery kind of something that could help it glide easy. Like I said, I used all the Color Pour, pro uh, Color Pour products when I made this um, and I couldn't be more impressed. I really am impressed with the brand. So when you're pouring, start with your lightest colors first. This will just be able to create a little bit more texture to make it, you know, seem like it's in that shade and that hue. And that's one reason I loved buying the pre-mixed paint is because I know that these colors are going to look good together. Like I said, I'm not the greatest artist or anything by a long shot, but I do like that I can have a, a set of paints that look good together. So this was actually the Galaxy uh, paint color scheme. So like I said, I put it upside down and then you flip it as quick as you can. And that's when the fun really starts to happen as you can see how you just watch it unfold. And then you just kind of move the paint back and forth on the canvas till you really feel like you're getting the desired look that you want for your project. And here you can see the cell magic. See those circles? That's part of the silicon cell magic that we put in earlier that's creating that effect. And as I just watch it magically unfold, what I love about it is it's unique. It's one of a kind. It can only be made in one place at one time ever. You can never recreate a paint pour project and have it be exactly the same. This is one of the things I love about paint pour and it's one of those things that's gonna make me go make a whole bunch more paint pour products, especially with this brand. I just really like how they sell everything you need and I felt like I was able to make a completely finished piece because the brand was always showing what product you could use next, teaching you what techniques, and it was always on the box. So I always was like, okay, the box is saying I need talc powder or this or 
what have you. Um, and so then I kind of knew. So when using the different ColourPore products, when you use the cell activator made by ColourPore, you also have to get out a heat tool. I just used my hair dryer so that you can heat out some of the silicone to help kind of spread it out more. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And I just thought it was really nice to add that fun technique. There are other techniques that ColourPore has that can create maybe a gold edge with some glue that I saw that you can use with reactive foil. But all the techniques that they have really, really can make that one piece you've made um, shine out. Speaking of shine, here are, this is the Glitter Flakes Color Pour. And I think we pretty much can all agree, uh, you know, when in doubt, add glitter, add sparkles, because sparkles really make any sort of piece shine out, and I really don't think any piece I could make without sparkles wouldn't make sense. So here I'm using the color tal uh, the color pour talc powder. Talc powder, when you put it on top of your painting at the end, when you use um, the cell activator, helps take out the silicone, not take it out, but takes out some of the molecules of it. I don't know, I'm not a sciencey person. But what this is going to allow you to do is to create a a surface that you can put a varnish on. So I got it in and I, I put as much as I could and then I used a very, very, very damp um, cloth with, it's a paper towel cloth, and I just gently rubbed around it. There seemed to be, you know, a little bit of white residue. I probably put too much on, but I didn't fuss about it too much. And then I had the glossy varnish and once I put the varnish on, all of that color issues or the whiteness, it all went away and, and suddenly it became just very, very shiny and very beautiful. Um, and like I said, what I love about using Color Pour is that it's a whole product. It's not, I have everything that I need to create a finished piece. So that's just something that I really like. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like that, this, hit that subscribe button um, and you'll be notified, when you hit that bell, you'll be notified whenever I make a new video. I always try to launch all of my videos live with a live chat so that people can swing by and say hi and talk about crafting or Etsy or whatever you're into. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.